this case. I'm going to ask that we, um, yesterday, the defendant, number one and number two, Mr. Afton Henderson, stated that his uh, current legal correct true name is uh, Henderson. So if we could change that for the record, based upon his statement as to his current name, his true valid name, to be Cleotha Henderson. Based upon his statement, the court uh, started a little bit uh, later this morning uh, due to a request for in chambers uh, discussion with the state prosecutor's office and appointed counsel from the office of the public defender and the. Appointed counsel, Ms. Jennifer Case. Um, I'll hear from her on her motions here in just a moment concerning uh, representation. And I'll allow Ms. Case to discuss that with Mr. Henderson right now. And I'll certainly hear from the state as well. Are you ready? motion previously filed by uh, defense counsel uh, concerning uh, extra judicial statements being made regarding the case uh, will be considered. Uh, that was filed by current counsel. An issue has been raised uh, by uh, defense counsel concerning representation. In order for me to uh, resolve that issue, uh, I need uh, certain records from various courts and from the state to hear from them with anything they want to file in response, as well as the current counsel in this uh, case. And I think we're pretty much close to that, but if there are several decisions and uh, records that I need to make a decision. So I'm going to uh, order at this time that uh, Mr. Henderson, uh, based upon the new charge, Mr. Henderson, if you're now charged with uh, first degree murder, I did advise you yesterday concerning the other charges, especially aggravated kidnapping, tampering with the fabricating evidence in a criminal case. The bond in that case was set as 500000 And now in this case, the state has filed and you are charged with uh, first degree murder. So in light of the change of circumstance with the additional charge in that case of first degree murder, I'm going to order that uh, there be no bond. The $500,000 bond will be uh, revoked pending a hearing for bond. And to have a proper lawyer uh, represent you on that in light of Ms. Uh, Case's uh, issues that were raised, which I'll not go into until I can resolve them, hopefully by tomorrow and see about another lawyer for you if necessary. First, I have to make a ruling on the motion filed by current defense counsel. So the status of the case will be 
that your cases, Mr. Henderson, are set for tomorrow, which is September the 8th, on the first case, the record 2201822, on the additional charge having been filed in that case of first degree murder, uh, there will be no bond set pending a hearing for a bond. A hearing on that bond. No bond. In the second case, 2201-8270, on the uh, charge involving theft, identity theft, and fraudulent use of a credit card, there will be no bond set in that case. So the defendant held without bond, pending a bond hearing uh, with counsel. I'll try to resolve these uh, issues uh, as quickly as possible. I'll hold them for tomorrow. There are, as I said, a few documents and court records that I need to review, which uh, counsel are making every effort to get to me as quickly as possible so I can make a ruling by tomorrow to see whether uh, there needs to be a change of counsel or not. So we'll hold the cases for tomorrow so I can make that review, research, and make a ruling. And we'll take it up in the morning. Tomorrow is September the 8th, and pending uh, my decision, Mr. Henderson is to be held without bond. Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, sir. Okay. Mr. Van Hulen here. Thank you.